Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, we are going to learn about diphthongs. I am Farhamat Afandi from Pangulang University, and this is the English Fun Learning Channel. Check it out. Diphthongs are the sounds represented by the symbol in red. There are some rules in pronounced vowel sounds, especially diphthongs. And these are the main ones that you need to know. So, what is a diphthong? Well, diphthong is a type of vowel sounds that is made up from combination of two single vowel sounds but pronounced in the same syllable. You can see in this table, each column is arranged according to the second sounds. In the first column, each of it ends with a sound. I, U, and E. In the second column, each of it ends with E sounds. A, O, E, and I. And the third column, each of it ends with U sounds, O and AU. Remember, the key of pronunciation is physical, and diphthongs is a combination from two single vowel sounds. So, your mouth will change position as you say the sound. Let's look at the monophthong again, so you can see what I mean. First, let's see the ear sound. It is combination between E and E sounds, pronounced at the same syllable, ear. The main physical difference between the sound on the top and the second row is that your mouth should be open a little bit starting with the E sounds finishing with the E sound as the words here, here, really let's look at the next one this is the combination between U sounds and E sounds U again your mouth should be open a little bit when you pronounce the first sound to the second sound starting from the U and finishing in the U uh sound as the words OUR POWER JURY now we have a combination of A and E uh sounds because both of them are located in the same row so our mouth will not be opened and closed. The main difference is in the shape of our lips and the original vowel sounds in our throat. So starting from the A and finishing in the E. Uh. As the words there, where, parents. Moving on the second column, A, OI, and I. The diphthong is ending with E or E sounds. Sometimes there is longer E, depends on the word. The first sound is A. It is a combination of A and E. This time, we need to close our mouth a little bit as pronounced the sound. So, starting from the A, and finishing in the E as the inwards. They say and make. The next sound is OI. It is a combination of O and E sounds. This time we need to open our mouth from rounded lips to unrounded because we pronounce vowel sound from the right column to the left column. So starting from the O, ending in the E, as in the words point, boy, oil. The next
sounds is I. It is a combination of A and E. Now we are going to start from the bottom of the row to the top. So the mouth is starts open and close as we say the sound. So starting from the A and finishing in the E. As in the words I by time. The next sound is O. It is a combination of O and O. The main difference here is the shape of our lips. It's rounding a little bit as we pronounce the sound. So, O starting from the O and finishing in the O. As in the words, go, no, only. The last sound is ow. It is a combination of a and u. Now the mouth is opening then closing, and the shape of our lip is changing as we pronounce the sound ow. So starting from the a and finishing in the u, as in the words out, how, down. Okay, my friends, that's all that I can present to you. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye-bye.